Hello, it's Alden. This is a quick tip for using green screen footage. Even if you get all the fine hair detail in a key, there's still these like light hazy edges over a dark background. I was going nuts with that edge around the hair and it was really frustrating because I had the detail keyed. I just don't know what that kind of glow was. And so here's a quick tip to get rid of that. I've been diving into a bunch of visual effects for this film that I'm working on called The Robosexual. And I was running into some green screen issues because of um, all of this fine detail in an actress's hair. There were a ton of tutorials on YouTube, a lot of which were very helpful. A lot of those tips did work. It was just a matter of, depending on the shot, which workflow worked better. Then I was kind of running into another issue and here's what that was. So first I have my key here. This is just a map for, for that key and you can see all of that detail, which is great. And so I set my layer here to you know, a luma mat with that, and here we go. So let's say this room is bright, hair looks incredible. And then as you get lower and lower, it's looking good, looking good. And then suddenly there is that edge, especially in this kind of like mid dark area here. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm basically gonna take this mat here and duplicate it. So now I'm gonna have two versions and the layer on top, I'm just gonna add a fill delete the other effects because they don't really matter. And then I'm gonna choose a color, kind of like the dark color of her hair around there. And then just mask it. Feather it a bit. And then we want the hair underneath and we want to get rid of the white edges uh, there. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the mat for the bottom one, add levels. And just here, let me turn off this hair. I'm just gonna, you know, darken it a little bit. See, this is kind of what I'm doing to the to the mat, just to knock in um, that kind of halo. Just enough so that it's not showing up behind the darker color hair. Um, also, you know, with that kind of like transparency, some of these edges do still look a little transparent. So if I just duplicate this layer, adjust the mat a bit so it's just over on that right side, I can add some, some volume back to those areas as well. And there you go. This saved me a ton of time and frustration. I feel like this is just a much better look than this.